what do we mean by the nominal exchange rate? And what is the real exchange rate? What we call the nominal exchange rate is the exchange rate with which you are probably already familiar. It is the price of one country's currency in terms of another. So for example, what is the price of a US dollar in British pounds? Currently, it takes about 0.8 of a pound to get you a dollar. That's an exchange rate. Inversely, we could have asked, what is the price of a British pound in US dollars? It would take about $1.25 US to exchange for one pound. So the exchange rate can be defined in terms of either currency, in terms of the other. The convention though, is to state the exchange rate as the price of one US dollar in terms of other currencies. Because of that convention, then we have what sounds like a paradox. We say a currency has depreciated when the exchange rate goes up. If the exchange rate is two for one, and then it goes to three for one, it has depreciated. The US dollar has appreciated because whereas a US dollar was the equivalent of two units of the other currency, it is now worth three units of that currency. So it is clear that the US dollar has appreciated. But at the same time, the local currency has depreciated in value because it takes more of that currency to buy a US dollar. Or to put it another way, at two for one, the, the unit of the local currency was worth half a dollar, half a US dollar. After the exchange rate goes from two for one to three for one, one unit is now worth only a third of a US dollar. So it has depreciated in value when the exchange rate in terms of how many of it it takes to buy a US dollar goes up. The nominal exchange rate is a relationship between two currencies. The real exchange rate is a relationship between two countries or two currency areas products. The price of one country's products in terms of another country's. So here's the relationship between the two. Whereas the nominal exchange rate shows you what is the terms of trade between the two currencies, the real exchange rate is the terms of trade between the two countries' products. Let us represent each country's products by a bottle of, of drink, by a beverage. To go from the nominal exchange rate to the real exchange rate, we need to bring in two other prices. The price of the products in terms of money in one country, the price of the products in terms of money in the other country. So let us put some numbers to this to see if we can work out what the real exchange rate tells us. Let us look at the real exchange rate between Malaysian ringgits and US dollars. Let us say that to get a bottle of American beer, the price of that is $1. So to get a beer, we need a dollar. If the exchange rate is four to one, four ringgits can get you one US dollar. Then to get our hands on the US dollar, we need four ringgits. And if the price of a bottle of tea in Malaysia is two ringgits, then in order for us to get our hands on the four ringgits, we need to produce and sell two bottles of tea. So therefore, we've established a 
value equivalence between two bottles of Malaysian green tea and one bottle of American beer. That is the real exchange rate. Bearing in mind that the real exchange rate is not about beverages per se, it's not about tea and about beer, it's about Malaysian products in general and American products in general. But we are using bottles of each beverage as representative of the value of products in each country. Now, we can see, once we have established the prices, all of the prices that affect the real exchange rate, the Malaysian price level, the exchange rate between ringgits and dollars, and the US price level. We can explore how the real exchange rate is affected by changes in each of these variables. Suppose that the US experiences inflation, price inflation, and other things remain unchanged. So the exchange rate doesn't move and the Malaysian price level is stable. Let us say prices in the US go up by 50%. So the bottle of beer that used to sell for $1 now sells for $1.50. Well, in this case, if we want to get an American beer, we need to have $1.50 in US dollars. At the exchange rate of 4 to 1, we now need 6 ringgits, which means producing and selling 3 bottles of tea. So whereas before, 2 bottles of tea were the equivalent of 1 beer, now it is 3 bottles of tea that is the equivalent of 1 beer. Malaysian products have depreciated in value. To see that, before the price change, before the depreciation, one bottle of Malaysian green tea was the equivalent of half a bottle of beer. After US price inflation, after the real depreciation, one bottle of tea is now the equivalent of only a third of a bottle of beer. So Malaysian products are worth less than they were before in international trade. Let's do another exercise. Let us look at how the real exchange rate is affected by a change in the nominal exchange rate. If we have a nominal depreciation, a nominal increase in the exchange rate, instead of 4 to 1, it goes to 6 to 1. Then, to get the dollar to buy the beer, we need 6, six ringgits, and therefore 3 bottles of tea. Well, that's the same depreciation. That's the same depreciation that we looked at before. So in terms of the effect on the real exchange rate, US inflation has the same effect on the real exchange rate as a nominal exchange rate increase. One more exercise. Let us look at the effect on the real exchange rate of local inflation local to Malaysia. If prices in, in Malaysia, here in Malaysia, let us say, were to double, and the nominal exchange rate doesn't change, and US prices are stable, then to get the bearer, we need a dollar. To get the dollar, we need four ringgits. To get four ringgits, we now need to produce and sell only one bottle of tea. So in this case, Malaysian products have appreciated in value. It used to be two bottles of tea that were, that were the equivalent 
of one bottle of American beer. Now one bottle of tea is the equivalent of a beer. Or, to put it another way, one bottle of green tea had the same value as half a beer before. After inflation in Malaysia, now one bottle of tea is the equivalent of a whole bottle of beer. So the real exchange rate is a comparison of how much you can get for the same amount of money in two different currency areas. A real depreciation of the ringgit means bare money can get you more tea. From our exercises, we can draw the conclusion that the real exchange rate is affected by the relative inflation rates in the two countries. Whichever country has the greater inflation rate is experiencing a real appreciation that is making its products relatively more costly. Our takeaway from this explanation is that the real exchange rate is the price in domestic goods of foreign goods.